Merry Christmas, happy holiday season. We're gonna do some quick uh, little gingerbreads and little uh, dog breads, I, I guess you call them. And got uh, Santa's little helper here, so Bobby's uh, helping out. So a couple of things, I've got um, some flour, I've got some ginger extract, and I've got some cinnamon just in there, a couple of hundred grams, which is, the, I mean, this is really simple, right? And we're gonna do some different colored uh, icings. Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, yeah, good. Um, I've got the oven on at 180. I'm just gonna heat that butter. So about 35 grams of butter, 30, 45 grams. Uh, let's just give that a little bit to, to warm that up. And just in here, uh, the flour mixture. I've sifted that too, so you don't have to get those lumps. Um, just mixing that in. Once we get the butter, we'll mix that in. I'm gonna turn that into a dough. You can put anything else that you like on there um, in terms of little uh, beads, little decorations, of course, once it's been Cooked, oven's on 180. Uh, let's see how that's going, just perfect. A few seconds in there, makes it a bit quicker. Okay, that's your hot butter in there. Again, you could have had that uh, just melt. Room temperature, but just gonna do it like that. Now, um, just about two tablespoons of water. You may need a little bit more. Let's just have a look at this, because we're gonna roll it out, and you just want this dough consistency. Hold on, let me move the icing. Oh, you'll see some pretty cool decorations there. Uh, love those for Christmas. Right, so let's just bring those in. Just roll it through. And you want that kind of dough consistency. Oh, you can smell the ginger and that's beautiful. Right. Uh, just get that through. We might need a tad more water. Let's see how we go. Yeah, let's put in a little bit more water. Just another tablespoon or so just to get that consistency so we can get it to roll out. And I've got some oven baked paper prepared on the trays. Uh, you could use a bit of flour, but I find a lot easier with the, the uh, oven baked paper. And again, just rolling it out with the oven baked paper. Now you're probably wondering why are those 10 mil syringes just sitting in front of me there? I'm uh, gonna do uh, some different color uh, icing in, in the icing sugar, and I'll show you how to do it. And with the, you could use a little um, plastic bag to pipe it out, but I found those uh, syringes, God knows why. I found those syringes and it's just gonna make it a little bit easier to kind of be a bit creative once your gingerbread or your ginger dogs have cooled down. Okay, so let's just mix that through. Again, making sure you can get as much as that in. How are you going there, Bobby? All right. Now you don't wanna make them too thick. This is gonna make probably 12 to 15. So with, with that size gingerbread uh, cutter. Okay. Once you've kind of got that into a consistency, you want to get it out and then roll it. Okay, you don't have to overdo it, but you just want to try and get all that in. See that little last bits on the edge there? Beautiful. Now this is going to cook, as I said, we've got the oven on 180. It, it, they take about 12 minutes. 12 to 15 minutes, you can get that kind of brown consistency, you don't want to burn. And a trick with the, uh, when you take them out of the oven, get them off the tray because they keep cooking, okay? Before we have cooked cookies and they keep cooking. So get them off, get them onto a, a drying rack or a, an airing rack to just take the heat off um, the, the cooking process. Okay, I think we're gonna go in with the hands now. I just go in and just knead that a little bit. Oops, get most of it in, get it right on the edge. There we go. So that's the kind of consistency you want. You want it a little bit soft. See a little bit there, just get that all in, get off the fingers. Now with a roller, we'll get the roller out in a second. With the roller, just making it fairly thin too, because you don't want to make them too thick. Because more of them the better. They really are just a great kind of decoration something around the Christmas table, or it could be a little gift. There we go. Now just bringing that, now a great little trick here, right? Put that there, get as much of that off. Just give my hands a little wash, because what I want to do is get another bit of baking paper and just keep some of these. Otherwise what tends to happen is it, uh, it sticks to the rolling pin, and that is frustrating. Right, so you want to get another bit of 
bacon paper, I probably should have done this already. And then you just kind of roll them in together, okay? Put it on top. Right. And then it just makes it easy because it doesn't stick in. See that? That's a much easier way to do it. Get that around as much as you can. It's not going to be perfect your first go, depending on what sort of space you've got. I could probably even move these boards a little bit in the way. Give me a bit, of, a bit more leverage on there. There we go. So you just bring, you can see the gingerbread just under there. Gives a little bit of idea of how much is there. Now you want to get it quite thin. I said you want to kind of get about 12 or so of these gingerbreads out of this amount of gingerbread mixture. So that means you've got to get a little bit thinner there. We'll have a look in a second. Bring that right to the edge as much space as you can use. Simple. Okay. Now, all things going well, yeah, baking paper won't stick perfect. Look at that. That's much easier than trying to worry about uh, doing it with uh, the rolling pin. Okay, so I'm just going to bring these over just to give us a little bit of space for our little decos. And a bit of prep space for that. Okay, and just simple little do what you can, numbers if you can. Pull them out where you can. I'm just going to do a little bit harder. Get right to the base. How's that, Bob? Hang on. What's going on, mate? That's fine. Um, yeah, it might even be easy to look. A little knife just to help you get this one. Looks like it's in a car crash. That's all right. Looks like he's been at a rave party too, this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's had issues. So that's how not to do it, right? That's your first one, how not to do it. And the rest will show you. I'll roll a few more out and we'll get them out. Okay, that's about 12 minutes. Let's turn the oven off. Let's have a look. Wow, it sounds like Christmas in here. Just careful, oh, a couple of extras, a bit browner than the other, that's all right. Next time, you might want to rotate a little bit, watch you back there. Now, as I said, what I want to do is get these off the, uh, careful because it's damn hot, get these off, because they keep cooking on that heat, okay? So get them off those little trays. Very carefully, don't know how to do this one. Um, so I'll get those off, and once they've cooled a little bit, we'll put them on the drying room I mean, the cooling racks, and then we can decorate them. Okay, roll those out, got them out, got as many as we could. We'll get six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, I've got a few more because I did a bit thinner, which is fine. And a couple of dogs. That dog's got a dog leg there. Um, and I had a couple of inches, so just did all kind of corners. So 180 degrees, at literally about 12 minutes, just until they uh, brown off. Check them in. Let's check them in 12 minutes. Up the top. Put both in. Just to make sure they fit both. They're probably not gonna fit. Softly there, beautiful. 12 minutes. Now, while we're just waiting for that 12 minutes, um, we'll get the time on that. It's quite too perfect. So, with the ice and sugar, just about uh, you know a, a teaspoon in each. Mix it up. As I said, we're gonna do some different colors. Green with green, a little bit of food dye. One, two, three, four, five. Don't overdo it. Um, we might even do just one one green, one white. Let's see how well that mixes. We might need a bit more. So just, just this is literally just icing sugar. I've got a few other things. We've got some eyes or some 
candy cane stuff, whatever you want to put on there. See, see how that's just sort of mixing through beautifully. And hopefully, if it's not too thick, um, we should be able to get it up with that little 10 mil syringe, which as I said, makes it a lot easier. How cool is that? So we might just do one grain, one white. If we got red, it would have been cool. I don't know what happened to the red. Uh, would have been good Christmassy. Uh, colours. So again, same process with that white. Now you, you can't put this icing on um, until they are well and truly cooled because they'll just cook. Okay, so this will harden up once it gets on there as well. So perfect. Okay, so with that, with my little syringe, just to test this, if it doesn't work, we'll try something else. Surprise, surprise, it works, right? And so we'll literally just be doing that. Okay, very cool, very cool. All right, let's do that. Wait for that 10, 12 minutes. We'll get them out of the oven and we'll cool them on a little drying rack. <coughs> we'll bring them on a little drying rack and uh, we'll decorate them and we'll show you when we get onto that.